This week on Keeping Up With The Stock Market, Elon and Jeff just can't get along. Jeff's response to all this? Sue me, bitch. I'm a trillionaire. What's up, YouTube? It's Cowboy Cayman. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel, where you can expect every market update you need to actually know about in two minutes or under. Let's get right into it. The 10-year treasury absolutely soared this week, coming to a near 10-week high at almost 1%. What does this mean for you and your money? Banks and other financial institutions that can't quite rely on the Fed interest rate anymore, which is settled between 0 and 0.25%, or at least it will be for the next few months, if not year or so, they're gonna be relying very heavily on other safe means of investments. With that rising, I see no reason to not invest very heavily into the financial sector as there is still very large room to run given the fact that there's probably no reason for a downturn in the immediate future, given that this entire market is funded purely by sentiment. Speaking of large, safe corporate entities, are they gonna keep needing to lease out the massive amount of square footage that they're used to? Of course not. With so much of the workforce being shifted to Zoom-based learning and Zoom-based work, there is no reason for them to pay the exorbitant amount of money that they do every year for leasing. So if these large corporate entities aren't going to be leasing out space anymore, what kind of REITs or real estate investment trust, most of which offer a monthly dividend, which of them have room to grow still? The industrial sector offers high area for growth here as you can't zoom into work. There's no way to operate a salt mine without somebody running the machines and just you know operating nearly everything on a person to person basis. While a lot of these industrial REITs have risen in insane rates over the last month and a half, I think there is still strong room to grow as most of them are still about 40% under their year to date returns. And last but not least, futures are set to open nearly a third of a percentage point higher, giving us clear hope for this week to come. And that should wrap us up, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Tune back in tomorrow to catch up on everything that is market news and cowboy news. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Here's to the next one.